Hey guys, Eric and Dan here with ToolsInAction.com. Today we got the pleasure of going uh, talking about the DeWalt <laughs> 20 volt brushless nailer. A lot of you guys have been asking about it, so we've got it right here. Tell us a little bit about it. What do you want to know? I want to know what you like about it, what you've used to them, what you've built, how many, what you, you know. Well, according to you, I don't know nothing about tools, so. Or English. Or English. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. what do we have here? Well, uh, a few years back, Senko came out with their Fusion. Mm. Everybody was all excited. What? No fuel. Fuel's great. Well, fuel's not great. Fuel was great at the time. At the time, because it basically took away pneumatic mm -hmm. air, so you didn't need to. To an extent, to an to extent. To a compressor around. Um, but now, basically, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I think it's like a flywheel design. Rigid has one for a finish nailer. Basically, it's like a flywheel that spins around really hard, and when you pull the trigger, some mechanism happens and it slams the nail in. Um, so anyway, Senko came out with the Fusion, yes, yep. which you know was awesome. Everybody's like, ooh, uh, they had some battery issues but I don't think with they it. Had a framer. Did they? No, they never yeah. had a framer. They it's were all finish nailers. Uh, but now, so now we're seeing this first framer from DeWalt. And uh, we've seen you guys talking about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been talking about it. Uh, it's been kind of out for a while, but it's kind of been unavailable. Yeah. And it's hard yep. to find. Uh, this unit right here, you can get right now in the United States from Toolnut. Uh, Power Store Supercenter.com, I think it is. Let me tell you. That's where we got it from. I'm going to tell you right now. It is Toolnut. You can just go to Toolnut.com, but there's another Toolnut site. PowerToolSuperCenter.com. They have it right now. It's under $400 uh, for the bear, I believe. We got the okay. bear from them because we couldn't believe it was in stock. We're like, what? Yeah, you know, so yeah. we went ahead and got it. Uh, free shipping. So definitely, uh, you know, we're like a Toolnut lately. They're, they're pretty good to yeah. us. So. Yeah. We gotta say they're yeah. good. Uh, but I got it and I was skeptical just like everybody else. You know, is this thing gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Is it a piece of crap? Why is it delayed? Why is it not in the States yet? Well, I gotta say, I'm impressed with it. And that, you know, everybody says, oh, Dan's just a DeWalt fan. No, I mean, I will tell you if I didn't like it. And so far, it's pretty much done everything that it claims to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's rugged, it's it lasted a long time. Um, charge, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it fires. I mean, unless you're super Mr. Speed Demon. If you're framing every day and that's, that's you know, and you're used to the pneumatic way, this will not keep up with that. So don't You don't let, think so? Not at all. Not at what? all. What? Not, not at all. There's no way it will. Are you serious? Not Why, because the guys go, ch -ch -ch. they want two of them right there? Yeah, I mean, they'll shoot three, it's four. A it's a little slower. Like it's a little slower. Yeah, I'm not, okay. I'm just saying, if you're so used to that speed, don't expect to get this and have that same type of speed out there. It's fast. Don't get us wrong. We're going to show you a video how quick it is to fire, you know, before you pull the trigger and you can fire. Well, boom, is it boom, faster boom, boom. than the pass load? No, I think it's about the same as the pass load. But the pass load, load has to about, vent gas and all that. I'm talking about the pneumatic. I'm talking about air to this or whatever, the pass load, either way. It's, the pneumatic is definitely a lot quicker, I think. So. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, we're well, not, we're not delaying that. that. Okay. All right. Uh, <sighs> All right, so yeah, pretty cool tool. Um, you know, what I like about it is it, it went through every time. Yeah. You know, there wasn't any, you know, where it it just wasn't inconsistent. I know with the Senko, the finish nailer, we were getting inconsistencies. We were. Sometimes it would drive them flush, and then sometimes they wouldn't drive flush. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really like that. It turned me off of the tool, but this has depth adjustment right here on the top. It also comes with a little uh, plastic guard that goes on here to protect, uh, not, to not mar the work that you're framing. But if you're framing, you're going to pretty much not worry about what you're marring. Yeah, it would. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't think. Yeah, but it comes think. with that just in case. Uh, but simple dial here to uh, move up and down to adjust your depth, which is great. This slide right here uh, holds, actually, I don't know. We'll go over how many of that holds in a second. Um, two modes on it, just regular uh, fire mode where you pull the trigger and it fires, and bump mode where you, the motor stays running and you can bump the gun to... Uh, bump and sequential. Yeah. yeah, sequential. On the back is two LED lights that will warn you of low battery situation and a jam situation, or stall as they call it. Uh, I, we didn't experience any stalls with this tool whatsoever. It ran every time. We did experience a couple jams uh, Due to my fault. Yeah, that was our fault. And what's one thing we did notice though is it doesn't. You do need an Allen uh, key, which it does actually have on board somewhere, to order to access the jam. I. What? Well, go ahead, man. I was gonna get there. I was talking about that. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I don't want. No, it's okay. Thunder. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. But go ahead. Um. 
Okay, let's reverse up a little bit. Back to the stall. This will clear your stall right here. It didn't. We didn't experience it at all, but like I said, we did get a couple jams because we were just going into uh, wood and there was other nails in there and it was hitting those and we were just causing chaos. Actually, it was the wrong uh, angle nail we had on there, but go ahead. Oh, well that too, I didn't yeah. think. What angle was that? I think that was like a 35, I think this is 30 to 35. Or something. Yeah, this is right here is 30 to 34 like Eric said uh, 0.113 inches to 0.131 2.8 to 3.3 millimeter and two inches to three and a half inch nails Yeah, so and it will take those three and a half inch nails and drive them. Oh, yeah it does a great I mean job. every time it really does a good job of, of actual nailing and the consistency uh, like you said with in terms of the depth when you fire it so that's a big thing. Right, yeah. I mean, it's it's a reliable <coughs> tool, and that's kind of what DeWalt's known for. They're known for the pros. They're known to just, you know, sometimes they might not be the most powerful in the category or anything like that, uh, but they're just known to be rugged, durable tools. Uh, the Allen key that Eric was talking about is right here. It just slides out. You getting bored? A little bit, but go ahead. Why? Because I'm talking about it? What do you want to talk about, Eric? Go ahead. No, no, no. I just don't. No. <clears throat> I know you are. Uh, that does kind of suck. I hate tools because the tools always get lost. Even though it's there, it's a pain. It would just be nice to have some kind of thumb something. I don't know. Maybe they can't do that. Uh, a hook right here. Plastic hook. Hook it on a rafter or whatever. What else? Brushless motor. Did you mention that? Uh, no, I didn't. But it has a brushless motor that's going to give you extended runtime, especially with the 3 or the 40 XR extended runtime packs. But overall, I mean, it's weird, you know? It's got the 20-volt grip. Yeah, it's got a nice grip, and you know what? Actually, I mean, it definitely is a little bit top-heavy, but it's like, oh, like any of the framers and all that, but it's just, I think it's got a nice feel to it. It does. I let's, like it. Let's see what, what DeWalt says about it. They said something about the brushless motor. <clears throat> uh, sequential operating mode we talked about. Easy access nose piece for the removal of jam nails. Okay, easy to access nose piece for the removal of jam nails. I don't think it's that easy to access. Not compared to ones that are toolless where you just flip it off. Yeah, which, you know. I mean, it, you can get in there with two, two, you get in there. I mean, the, two I, screws. We didn't get that many jams. Like we said, the jams we get, well, we shouldn't say we got any jams. The jams we did get were, were the, you know, they were our faults. Yeah. So. That's true. Um, you know, it's made of an ABS plastic right here. It's probably made out of the Xylon or whatever they make their tools out of. That's the the yeah, tools are pretty tough. Uh, trigger lock we didn't talk about. So yeah. when you have the tool sitting down there, and it says top cap is impact resistant and easy to remove for troubleshooting. Oh, so, and that's another good thing that you pointed up too. It's like my I have the password that I use. I have to uh, basically clean that every once in a while. I have to oil it, uh, take it apart, clean the filter, and do that. You do not with this system. The system's basically maintenance free. Yeah, and that's another good so. thing too. And that's big. And that goes back to, I mean, maybe a regular framer would use it. I mean, it might slow down your production a little bit, but you know, I think this is for the guy that, you know, the remodeler that'll go in there and, you know, maybe he does some framing a few times a week. You yeah, know, it I mean, might not be yeah. his own thing. And another great thing about this thing being so small is it fits between studs. Uh, the length of it is only 13.75 inches. It weighs about 7.5 pounds or how much? Uh, actually, 9.1 pounds. Uh, it wasn't even close. No, but I told you that. That's my fault. No, I'm thinking the pastel is 7.5. Is it really? Yeah. Wow, the pastel is light. Um, 33 nails it holds in the magazine. What does the pastel hold, do you know? No, I don't. I'm, I'm thinking tool fight. Take a tool flight. 16 inches long, uh, 20 volts, three-year warranty from DeWalt. It's pretty cool, you know? It's a nice system. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice nailer. So basically what's this button right here does what? Clear stalls. And so we'll light up back here. I never, we never had, well, I've Yeah, never we didn't a have stall. a stall. I don't even so. know what a stall would be. Maybe it just won't fire. Yeah, maybe you know? it just won't fire. Like I mean, it won't wind it, up or something. Yeah, it just seems to be a real easy thing right here. Uh, you know, and I, I like the follower. It's pretty easy. You know, it locks into place when you put your nails in, and then you can just click it back, and it's giving you good pressure to keep feeding it uh, properly. We have three inch nails in there right now. Mm -hmm. It drives them no problem, but I. I don't know, man. It's a good, it's a good tool. We're, I think it's good. You're not going to go wrong with it. I don't think if you're going to get it. I think the only thing someone might be disappointed by is if they didn't understand that, like, if you're framing a lot, it's just the speed compared to a pneumatic one. Well, it's I think fast. if you're framing a lot, you're going to know that already because you're a pro. 
No, but you can't go to the store. You can't go to Home Depot or whatever and try one of these things out. You basically got right now. You got to order this thing online. Right. That's why you, know you go to toolsandaction.com and check it out. And then they say, check oh, out yeah. the reviews. Look yeah. at these two. The, these are both. Uh, have you guys ever framed a house? Actually, I have. I have. You know what? I we should build anything. a house. You, you know what? Let us know. If you guys want, we're going to build a house. Um, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> hey, Kickstarter. If you guys put enough in there that you guys will donate, we'll build some house on Kickstarter. What? <laughs> If you want something where the walls aren't... No, floating. and then I'll live in it, and that'll be awesome. It'll be 5,000 square feet. Yeah, there you go. You know? Nice. I'll live nice. out in the back in the doghouse. Yeah, <laughs> no, you won't. You won't live anywhere near it. That'd be cool. What if everybody's like, yeah, and we got $100,000. Probably get 100,000 pesos. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a nice name. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Bro. All the mysteries that surround this tool, and there is mysteries to it when it does seem like it gets released and it doesn't. People think, oh, it's got problems. We didn't really hear of any problems. Even the UK versions, we didn't hear of any problems that they're having with it. Uh, and like we said, we didn't really witness any problems with it. So it's definitely, and availability is not a problem at powertoolsupercenter.com, mm -hmm. uh, part of, powered by Toolnut. But I don't know, man. It's just a pretty cool nailer. I think uh, if you guys purchase it, especially if you're already in the 20 volt lineup, yeah. but it's it's such a cool tool. Uh, we already had our tool awards, but this could be a contender for, I would say best I nailer. So. Yeah, I would say I best nailer. So. This I like the fact that the rafter hook folds away too, so it's not always, plus you can move it to here or here. Yeah, the suicide hook. I only call the Milwaukee ones suicide hooks because they're made out of like real thin metal. That's it's, nice. That's not thin metal. Yeah. You're telling me that thing's thin. Well, yeah, that's a suicide hook, man. That thing will rip your eye out. Good thing man, all this is hang up here. All right, so hopefully this was cool for you guys. You guys learned a lot about the uh, DCN. Is this DCN 960? I think it is. DCN 960. Nice. All right, let's go check it out in action. All right. One did it go, oh no it did. Ready, I'll try to go too fast. on the table. That's pretty good though. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, I told you, dude. I like this thing, man. No jams. That's probably one of the best nailers I've ever used. What's that? They, those are my tools. You keep them on the floor anyways. <laughs> I don't want you to, geez, I'd hate for you to look on a shelf or somewhere for the tool. I want you to be able to find the thing. So I like it, man. It's a nice nailer. You know, like I told you before, we were playing around with it yesterday and the day before. It's, it's nice. All right. It's cool. got power. It's got power. It's, it's a good nailer. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> <laughs>